A jump bug lets you conserve your speed and stamina upon landing and makes you jump 0.3 units higher than a crouch jump, which is 57 height. It is arguably the most important tech to know in vanilla KZ map running, as many maps would not be possible without it. To land a jump bug, you need to unduck close to the ground and jump at the same time. Releasing crouch early will get you B hops. On the other hand, Releasing late will get you crouched b-hops. You can use this to your advantage to roughly adjust your timing. Strafing after a jump bug will make you go super far. Some people have landed 280s in the past. Both have their pros and cons. Holding can make it easier to land a jump bug as you only need to time the release, but it will make turning hard and thus gaining pre harder as a result. Tapping makes gaining pre easier as you're crouched for less time. However, it is arguably harder to do as you crouch and uncrouch in a very short amount of time. Moreover, holding crouch before a jump bug lets you crouch sooner afterwards. One eighties and three sixties. The key is to not turn with a constant speed. They are done by turning fast at first, slow, and then fast again at the end to gain more pre and adjust for angle and path before the jump. In my opinion, the best way to learn how to do them is to observe, mimic, and practice. Crouch bug. It is exactly the same as a jump bug but without the jump. It prevents you from losing stamina upon landing and can save time for huge drops and also be used to get max pre on very small blocks using a pre key. Jump bug chains. Jump bugs can be landed multiple times in a row. Some maps require two or more jump bugs to be landed in a row in order to complete a section. Or when you land a jump bug but get a 250 pre-perf or no perf. Those are completely RNG and is the reason why the jump bug bind is so overpowered. Some players have started using the jump bug bind which makes you jump and unduck on the same tick, resulting in a perf every single time. The jump bug bind is very useful for jump bugs in pro runs as the chances of you perfing off are lower due to the single jump input. Using the jump bug bind is not recommended. Offset blocks and drops can make it harder or even easier to time a jump bug. An offset of a few units can completely throw your jump bug timing off so you have to watch out. In some rare cases, it is even impossible to time a jump bug from just jumping no bind, especially on drop jump bugs. But there are different ways to land them. Jump bugs can be used to get past anti b hop and teleport triggers by jump bugging off the very edge of a block, which is usually less than 2 edge. God -like. Note that the trigger cancel is most likely going to be patched next month of September 2021. Mastering the jump bug is essential in order to complete harder maps on vanilla. I hope this video helped and thank you for watching.